This is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.dev. This is just a quick video to show you how to deploy a React site. So I recently made, if you go to training.alexmercedcoder.dev, you're going to see this page where you can find a lot of my resources nice and organized for you so you can find the videos or blog posts that you want on different topics. Okay, this is just a React site using React Router. Okay, so it's just React and React Router and a handful of JSON files. That's, that, that's all it took to make this. Okay, so if you're looking for anything particular, just head over to training.alexmercedcoder.dev. But again, I'm going to show you how uh, to deploy this on, on different hosts. Okay, so first we'll do render.com. And again, generally it's going to be the same process for this. For and It's not just for React apps, it's for any single page application framework. So it's going to be the same process for Vue, same process for Angular, same process for Solid.js, same process for Svelte. Um, but yeah, just log into your render account. Okay, and then when you click new, you're going to click static site, not web service. Web service would be for like back-end applications like an Express application or a Django application. You're going to want a static site. And then you just connect the repository. Most of these should gently detect React. Like they'll just notice, hey, you're deploying a React app and just automatically pick up on the settings. So that's all it takes. Okay, so just give that a second to load through all my repos. Okay, there we go. And there we go, React. Actually, this is the one I want. Alex Merced, free developer training course repo. I hit connect. Okay, and we'll just say training site as the name, branch main. Uh, again, it's going to automatically detect that it's a React site, so it knows that you have to run the build command first, and then you publish the build directory. So I don't have to like do anything. So I just hit create static site, and we let it build. Okay, and then that should be ready in a not too. This shouldn't take too long. But it's essentially going to be the same process with Vercel. So if I head over to Vercel.com, okay, and I log in to Vercel, log in with your GitHub account, okay, and I just go add new, add new project, okay, then I'll just choose a same repository, import, and see, it's automatically going to pick up on everything. See, it already picks up on the, the running the build command first, and then that your outputs the build. Like, you don't have to do anything if it's a, you know, create React app application and generally if it's like the standard template for many other things it'll pick up on those things so there that's deploying on netlify i mean i've already deployed this on netlify but we'll deploy it again just to show you okay i just go to login it's gonna be the same process again i just click add new site import an existing project i hit do github and there's a load of my repos i just look up for the repo in question Do you have a lot of repos? I have a lot. Let's see here. How many repos do I have now? GitHub.com slash Alex Merced Coder. I have 442 repos. I've done a lot, a lot of these are just small repos I've done for videos. Some of them are uh, libraries I've written recently and in the past. So lots of stuff. Okay. But yep, see, there it is. I click on that. And again, it's going to pick up on all the settings. It automatically picks up on the right settings, I'll hit deploy, and that deploys. So let's take a look at the first one. Okay, that's still deploying. Okay. Uh, let's see, how about Vercel? Vercel looks to be done. So I can continue the dashboard. And then when I go here, I should be able to find the URL somewhere right here. It is. Here's the, 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 the website. And there it is, it's deployed. Okay. But, you know, I already have a deployment, so I'm not, I don't want to keep this, so I'm going to delete this deployment. So in that case, what I would do is go to the settings for this project, and I should be able to scroll all the way to the bottom and delete the project. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, now you got to do two types. Okay. They really want to make sure that you are sure you want to delete this. Okay. So that project is deleted. Okay, then here on Netlify, see this is deployed again already. So I click on here. There's a site, but again, I already have this. I already have that project deployed, so I want to make sure I get rid of that. So let's take a look over here. Okay, the site is live. If I click right over here, training site on render.com, and it is live. Okay, so easy peasy. Now let me just get rid of that one as well. So hit over the settings, scroll down to the bottom. I want to delete the static site. So then type in the command sudo delete static site training site. Okay, delete that. Go back to Netlify, log in. 
we'll show you one more. Okay, but you see it's generally the same process for like st static sites are going to be a lot easier. Basically, the idea being that there's no backend. Um, the cool thing about Netlify and Vercel is you do have what's called serverless functions you can use. So there's ways you can kind of get a splash of backend in there. You can just check out my, I'll, I'll show you where the blog is, but I'm going to delete this deployment. So head over to site settings. Uh, I think you have to go hit the danger zone, delete the site. And then we just type in the, I'll just copy and paste it. The name of the project, delete. Okay, and that is deleted. Okay. So I think rail. I think we can also do this on railway. So let's do that. Railway dot app. Okay, start a new project. Deploy from a GitHub repo. Log in with GitHub. Okay. Log in via GitHub. Okay. Start a new project. Deploy via GitHub repo. Uh, configure GitHub app. Okay, there we go. Let's create a new project. And I want to deploy the free training course. Deploy now. Okay, and I'm assuming you just will notice it's a React app. We'll find out. Okay, let's go back to uh, dashboard. So I think that's this one right here. Okay, environment created. Add a service. Can we deploy a static site here? Let's find out. Let's try this again. Free. Invalid service name. So maybe, yeah, maybe this is not appropriate for static sites. Okay, so this is more back end, I guess. Uh, let's try fly.io. Can I do a quick static deployment with static.io? I think I can. Okay. Do, 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 deploy your app. And yeah, it's going to require the CLI and all that stuff. Rather not. Okay. So let's not. So I guess fly.io may also not be. So I'm just trying to think what else could we do a quick deploy of a static app. Um, you could also do it with Firebase. I'm not going to do Firebase right now. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you would deploy a React app. And again, same goes for a Vue app and whatnot. So w that's all for like front end. Front end is always much easier to deploy. So generally the idea is like the more you can do with the front end, the easier your life is going to be. But at the end of the day, you still always want to handle sensitive information on the back end, which is why you generally end up needing back end applications because you need to handle sensitive information, work with date, your database, which is sensitive information, things like that. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. See y'all later. Have a great day and enjoy.